Well, then we can move to item B, which is summary of spring sports participation, year-end sports participation, and year-end activities participation. Mr. Kern. Good evening. Um, just uh, real briefly, want to go over um, some numbers and uh, show you a new document that I've put together um, as soon as we can get that up. In general, there wasn't a lot of changes um, in terms of spring sport overall participation. The uh, it's going to be hard for me to see from here, um, but um, the big one, I guess, for on this document that I, that to me is the most important is the one way at the end, um, and that is in the lower right hand corner. The participation for uh, in terms of Title IX compliance. And it is the best we've ever had. Um, I think it's like 1.6% or something like that, plus or minus 1.6. So um, they give you a range as to up to plus or minus 5. And again, that's only if it came down to um, not doing some other things. And we've done so many things in terms of adding opportunities for girls' sports that um, we're definitely uh, not in any type of... Uh, or condition if we were to ever be audited we'd be actually in very good good shape in terms of Title IX compliance. The next one is the, um, the last one I guess is the activities participation. I don't know if you can find that one. Um, but this is a new document. Which one? I'm sorry Tom, which one should be? Okay, so then I need, I need to get out of this. I like this. Yeah. Color right. Color. No, no, no. It's the one that's yeah, it's not the Yeah, it's not the Yeah, it's here. So what so, page do you want shown on? Total participation. <clears throat> yeah, participation, activity participation totals. No, it's, it's not on that. Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's the other, it's the other attachment. Yeah, the other attachment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Kern, can you tell us again, you said uh, we want to be within plus or minus 5% and boys and girls equalizing participation right that now. Is, what, what will they do to you if you're not in compliance with that? Well, that would be one possible. In order to meet the standard, you have to be able to show one of these three. You have to first show that you have a history of providing, adding opportunities for the underrepresented gender. In this case, it's the girls. Um, you have to... Um, show that you have done a survey of the entire student body and that you're meeting the needs of what their, I guess, their wishes would be as far as opportunities, or you have to be within that plus or minus five. Um, so the plus or minus five, we're in good shape. The adding opportunities, we're in really good shape. You know, and you only have to meet one of those three. In terms of surveying the kids, you know, we haven't, we haven't done that in quite some time. Um, you know, there's maybe, uh, would be some interest in doing that, but uh, as of right now, I think we were, especially as times are tight right now, I don't think there's going to be any anything added on. But uh, the document is now up there in terms of activities, and that's what I wanted to, to show everybody. It, it's set up just a little bit different. It's all on one document, so you can go through and scroll down them, and um, each one of them is using the same um, setup that I use for each sport. Uh, some of the, the information uh, since I was made the activities director in 06, 07, I don't have some of that early information, but for the most part I do. And it's just, again, a, a, I think a good way of tracking um, how many kids are participating, how many are uh, finishing, and that's the big thing. These are all ending numbers. These are not how many came out at the beginning of the year, whether it's sports or whether it's activities. It's how many we finished with. So. Um, Again, this is something that I'll continue to do now in terms of staying up to date with this. That getting it done the first time was there was some backtracking to do, but um, I'm real happy with the way that it came out and and our numbers in terms of overall participation. Now we can kind of combine those for all of the uh, reports that need to be done. Um, 
the school performance reports, everything's kind of laid out real real clean now. So if there's any questions as to how many eighth graders were in the academic decathlon, we can go right back. Um, and we would also have records of, uh, on a spreadsheet, um, actually what their names if we needed that, or how many boys and how many girls, because it's obviously different. So that's about all I had, if, unless there's some questions. Thank you. Thank you.